Hi, this is Sarah Mikesel with The Dairy Site, and today we're here with Dr. Ben Saylor. He is a Dairy Technical Services Manager with Armin Hammer. Thanks for being with us today, Ben. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Very good, and we're here in Madison, Wisconsin at the World Dairy Expo. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the research that you guys are sharing with producers here. Sure, so one of the things that we're really prioritizing this year is to share uh, new research related to our bacillus-based probiotic. Um, so for a long time, the primary functionality, the primary objective with this product was to control pathogens within cows and prevent digestive, digestive disorders such as HPS um, and other digestive problems. Um, but we've known for a while that our bacillus do a lot more than just inhibit clostridium and prevent disorders like HPS. And so we really wanted to see, one of our primary questions was, in herds that are not challenged by pathogens, what effect does our bacillus-based product have on performance and ultimately the overall resilience of a dairy cow? And so um, we had a university study that was conducted at Oklahoma State University, um, as well as two uh, commercial tr trials. Um, and all three showed very um, exciting improvements in performance, uh, specifically the Oklahoma State trial. We saw that with, the, with our product, we were able to increase butterfat by um, four tenths of a percentage unit. Uh, we went from a 4.0 to a 4.4, which really increased our energy corrected milk production. Right. Um, and what was really exciting too is we also observed a moderate reduction in dry matter intake. So what that meant is that those animals were more efficient. They were able to make more energy corrected milk from less feed. And we know that in the industry today, efficiency is a, a very right. hot topic. Right. Um, we did another trial at a commercial dairy in New York. And one of the things we wanted to look at with this trial, in addition to the performance aspect was also the, the health and immunity aspect. So in addition to measuring um, you know, all performance parameters, we also collected blood samples and looked specifically at two different markers of inflammation, um, haptoglobin and LBP, which are very common markers of inflammation. And in addition to seeing a performance advantage with our, with our probiotic, we also saw that um, animals on this bacillus-based product had improved immune status. So we saw lower concentrations of these two markers of inflammation. Um, the final trial was conducted at um, a commercial dairy in California. Okay. Uh, and it was actually conducted through the summer, uh, which which many times does not bode well for right. um, you know field-based research right. because of the challenges associated with the heat. Um, but we saw that with our with supplementation of our bacillus-based product, we saw improved uh, performance um, primarily by increasing milk volume uh, through the summer. And, and that right. uh, performance enhancement was sustained. And so that was very exciting for us. Right, so yeah. even during the heat, of the heat of the summer, they were still seeing uh, some positive results. Yes, yeah. Very good, yeah. very good. Let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, this is research, but what does all that really mean uh, for a producer, right, when it comes right down to it on the farm? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, I think if you were to look at the most productive and successful farms, they probably have many things in common, but one of them is that they have cows and herds that are the most resilient to pressures. We know that there are a variety of different pressures that cows face day in and day out. And those animals that are more resilient and resistant to those external pressures, uh, pressures and stressors um, tend to perform at a higher level. And so um, what we're seeing is with our bacillus-based probiotic, we're able to actually create more resilient animals that can okay. withstand those external pressures, um, which ultimately leads to more consistent production and, and better profitability on a farm. So, Very good. Well, thank you so much for all the information today, Ben. Yeah, of course. This is Sarah Mikesel with The Dairy Site.